Hello and happy Thursday. We have had a few isolated thunderstorms trying to move into the area, but dissipate before they can really make their way into the coverage area. The first one we're going to take a look at was over in Erie County, approaching the Merton area before it completely lost its steam and dissipated. Up north, impacting portions of Throckmorton County, headed into Haskell County. That actually had a severe thunderstorm warning attached to a reports of 70 mile an hour wind gusts and golf ball size hail, but it died fairly quickly so they canceled that warning that was in effect until 9 30 now looking at not much as far as rainfall across west texas we're not going to get too comfy yet though because there is still a level one threat of severe weather across the northeastern half of our coverage area damaging wing is still going to be the big thing to look out for large hail also going to be an area of concern in any of the storms that pop up now at this point everybody thankfully back into the night 90s to 80s range no triple digit temperatures at this point in the evening still holding on to 92 in west in san angelo 87 up in abilene down to 85 over in eastland that's one of those cooler spots at the moment along that i-10 line ozona and sonora just under the 100 degree mark still holding on to 99 degrees now as we get throughout the rest of the evening looking to maintain clear to mostly clear skies and another night of temperatures dipping into the mid to upper 70s around 75 even is going to be the low here in San Angelo. Tomorrow looking to be fairly similar to today. Highs peaking around the 105, probably up to 108 mark. Another heat advisory going into effect that we'll talk about in a second. Saturday also looking similar. The big thing is as we get into Sunday, closer to the start of next week, going to start to see those temperatures getting back up to the 110, so 110 to 115 going to be possible again to kick off next week. Now that heat advisory going into effect tomorrow, is going to be for a good chunk of West Texas, about as far north as Haskell, moving down everybody south of the I-20 line included in that. That's going into effect at 1 p.m. through 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. There's also going to be another round of severe weather possible starting tomorrow evening into overnight. Another level one threat, this time kind of a flipped image from what we're seeing tonight. So now the southeastern or the southwestern, forgive me, half of our coverage area looking at those strong wind gusts and large hail that's going to be possible. So throughout the rest of this evening, likely to see some storms moving through the big country, kicking off Friday on a fairly sunny note. Won't be until those afternoon hours that we start to see these storms moving through the coverage area. But by Saturday morning, looking to be once again dry and sunny. Could see some isolated rain Saturday evening, but the rest of the forecast period looking dry and hot with these triple digit temperatures. Back to you, Esmeralda.